Hey guys, Shannon here with Cornthwaite Lawn Care. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the blades and sharpen them on your John Deere Z345R. So let's get started. Alright, so as you can see here, I've already got a blade removal tool on this side. And what that does is it clamps down on the mower deck and holds the blade in place. I've got two of them. I'm going to go ahead and put one on the other one. So I don't have to sw keep swapping them out and it'll make the job that much faster. Alright, so what you want to do when putting this on, since it's on this side that doesn't have the chute, just find where the blade is. And you can get these blade removal tools at just about any hardware store, Walmart, um, Lowe's. Menards has them. They're not that expensive. And it makes it makes things a lot easier than using 2x4 or a block. So what you'll need is a 3 quarters inch or 19 millimeter socket. And your ratchet. All right, so now what you want to do, get you a grinding wheel and gonna follow the edge of the, the edge of the blade make sure you try and keep it at the exact angle that one. Then what I usually do is I'll take a file this is just to make sure I get the right angle on the blade and to make sure it's extra sharp. be a little bit sharper so we're gonna go ahead and run it under there one more time
things go down. with your file. As you can see, this is the file I'm using. I'm using the flat side. Kind of help keep that angle. side just get some of that gunk off the bottom so it's nice and sharp and we'll do the same thing with this one and I'll come right back I've had people tell me both ways I found the best way if the wheel is spinning this way put it like that this, this way sharpens it as well, um, but I've just found it's easier to guide it and easier to get it sharper by putting it like this with the blade spinning towards it. You sharpen on the downstroke. I said you got your ang the angle of the blade here put it straight down sharpen on the downstroke Now, take a screwdriver or screw or the blade leveling tool, just make sure it's balanced. Just same thing with the other one. Perfectly balanced. Now we're going to go ahead and put them back on. Alright, so just like before, when we took them off, we switch our ratchet over tighten. We always make sure the bottom of the blade is down. So this angle right here should be on top. Now as you can see I'm putting the blade inside the blade removal tool so that once I tighten it it's not going to go anywhere until I release that tool clamp you know I'm not sure that blade's sitting on there just right there we go So that one's on there good, we'll do the other side. Thank you. 
That's the bad thing with these Z345Rs, is it's just round. It's not a star bolt or anything like that. No grooves to hold it in. So you've really got to make sure it's completely flush. Right. That's on there good now. We're going to go ahead and remove the clamps and we'll be right back. Alright, removing the clamps. Alright, so now we're going to check to make sure this deck is level. What I got here is a leveling tool from John Deere. What you do is you turn the blade, stick it straight out, and you put it right up against the edge of the blade. I've got it set on the three and a half setting. And this is just a hair off so we're gonna go ahead and lower it down just a little bit what you'll need is a 5 8 wrench and a 17 5 8 is for the top bolt and the 17 for this nut. And we want to loosen it just a little bit. One more turn to lower it. Almost. That looks pretty good right there. It's right at three and a half. So it's right there against the edge of the blade. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. All right. So as you can see, it's up against the edge of the blade. It's at three and a half. It's already level with the other side, so we don't have to worry about it. However, I am going to show you where to turn the bolt to raise and lower the deck. Alright, so you take your 5 eighths. Alright, so it's going to go right on the head of this bolt right here. And then your 17 is going to go right here. And you're going to tighten to raise and loosen to lower. So this is just to hold this the bolt in place. The only thing you're actually turning is this nut right here. Now let's go and uh, level it front to back. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing with the blades. Only this time we're going to turn them towards us, towards the front here. All right, now the front is off by about a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna have to raise that up. And it looks like we're gonna need a bigger wrench for that one. So we're going to use a 19 millimeter socket 
deep oil socket, which is the exact same one that we used on the blades. So we're going to go ahead and loosen this back bolt. If I can get it. So we've got that loosened. Now we're going to tighten this front one. Check both blades, make sure they're both level, and they are now. Now, we can go ahead and tighten this nut back up. Now that this one is where it needs to be. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need to loosen it just a little bit. Bring it down just a hair. There we go. Now we want to make sure these are both completely 100% tight. Otherwise, if one of them is off just a little bit, it's going to loosen. And it's going to send your deck out of level. So let's go ahead and check this blade again. Perfect. Three and a half. Now we're going to go back around and check the sides again. Perfect. Is that exactly three and a half? Now check the other side. And this one is perfect. So that's how you remove the blades, sharpen them, and adjust the height and level of the mower deck on your John Deere Z345R. Take care guys.